Arena Sports here with Michael Jell White. Uh, here at this uh, Smash Global MMA event, man, I know you're a, a big MMA fan. Oh, yeah. uh, tell us, big fight coming up next weekend, Tyrone Woodley versus uh, Steven Thompson. But to, to tell me what you thought about the first one. I personally thought Tyrone won. And, and how do you feel the second one? Well, uh, Tyron, I mean, you know, Tyron's like family to me. Um, <laughs> A lot of times, if he's not at the fight, he's at my house watching the fight. <laughs> and you know, so you know, that, that like I say, that's family. I, I I thought he clearly won. Even though I'm a big fan of, of Thompson as well, but um, I think Thompson has a has work cut out for him for this fight. He has a big he's got a big uh, endeavor now because I think um, Tyron is gonna. He, he, he knows what to do to um, kind of capitalize on this one even more than he did the last time. Everyone I ask kind of says the same sentiment, like that he hadn't seen that style before. Now that he's seen it, it makes it a little easier. Would you agree with that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's one of the things is that, because actually Thompson and I fight very similar. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I, you know, it's like... I could talk about a few of the, a few of the issues, but you know I don't want to give nothing away. But yeah, uh, I think Tyron has figured out how to how to deal with that style. And one one thing is, you learn how to fight in a particular style. It's hard to deviate from that instantly. It's it's it becomes a chess game. But um, it's um, it's going to be interesting. It's, it's a chess game. I'm looking forward to seeing. Definitely. Yeah. Main event to that, uh, Khabib versus uh, Tony Ferguson. That's oh another great God. fight. Yeah, what I didn't want that, that to happen. <laughs> I actually did not want that fight to happen. It's uh, two of my favorite fighters. And I love Ferguson, man. Huh. Uh, you know, I would, I would hope that that fight would be for a championship between those two. Uh, Khabib, what, kinda. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I hate to see that they're both going against each other now. You know what I mean? It's, but um, I like Tony. I know Khabib is like non he's unstoppable right now. But Tony, he's got these angles and he's got this leverage. I, I'm not gonna count my man Tony out. That's that's kind of like more like you know where my heart is. You know, and I, I'm hoping Tony pulls that one out. Mark, he has the skills, though. He oh, damn yeah. sure has the skills. They're, they're, yeah. they're, their levels are the same. It's just, it, it, that's really a matter of the style's going to make the fight. You know what I mean? It's, it's who's, who can impose their style. Yeah. Tony's smart. He keeps him at the end of those punches and keeps it, you know, keeps varying like he's been doing. Yeah. It, it, it might be an upset. That's a big night for fighting, man. Uh, Very big night. Keith Thurman's fighting Danny Garcia. Oh, right, yeah. Undefeated welterweights. Yeah. Going at it in their prime. This is like yeah. La Jolla Trinidad. You know what I mean? And Keith, Keith, Keith is a, he's a problem. That's like the baddest fighter fighting backwards I've seen since since um, Mayweather. But, yeah, Keith fights backwards very well and that's kind of the X factor you know so I'm looking forward to that one but did you have Keith in that one yeah I do yeah Keith is, Keith is strange enough to throw things off yeah uh, big fight uh, press conferences press conference tour is going on right now uh, Canelo versus Chavez man how do you uh, first let me ask Canelo you. versus Chavez Jr. yeah you didn't know about that no I didn't know about that yeah Canelo versus Chavez Jr. man Canelo. happening in May not, not a fan of it <laughs> no, no Canelo come on <laughs> it's that too so check this out so you know how uh, Canelo didn't want to move up to 160 to fight Triple G uh -huh. he's fighting Chavez at 164 and a half what do you think about that? Canelo still. It's, it's a skill. It's a skill thing. Ch Ch Chavez. Nah, I'm sorry. It's, it's, <laughs> no, Can Canelo's got the skill over him. That. It's not like he's fighting Triple G. He's. he's that's. Th that way, skills kind of match up a little bit, and a heavier weight kind of dominates in that situation. I know Chavez has got the weight, but it's a skill. It's a skill thing. Uh, Canelo's skill level is just growing. Just the way he's been, been able to. Uh, 
his defense that he's been showing is just amazing. Like, like just from one fight to the next, he's, he's, he's something else. Yeah, he, he's a sponge for sure. He learns everything from every fight for sure. Well, yeah. So what happens? I wish, I wish, I want Canelo to train with Mayweather. I want Mayweather to, to pull Canelo in. That would be cool as hell. That would be. That would I, be. You know, I, I think Canelo could learn some of that stuff. And I think he learned a little bit from from when he fought Mayweather. And you know, and you see Canelo's defenses go up like that. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, who do you have if Canelo and Triple G when they finally meet? Who do you have? In Triple G. Yeah. yeah it's, it's yeah. It's 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 kind of a. It's a power thing, it's a size thing, you know? You, you're at a certain weight, you're used to people, your weight and bigger, hitting you. It's just, it's not a good trade-off for the smaller guy, as you know, you know? And when you're within those pounds, in that level, five pounds mean a big difference at that, that weight level. You know, so, yeah, it'd be Triple G there. So I, don't think, I don't think that's a good fight for the number. And last question, sir. Lots been made recently at MMA and boxing kind of meeting. Conor McGregor fighting Mayweather. What do you think about that? Oh, come on. What happens? <laughs> come on now. <laughs> May Mayweather is the best boxer who ever lived. I'm not just saying now that he's the best. Nobody has had the skills that Mayweather's had. Nobody. So a non-boxer coming in to fight him? Come on. That's, that's just ridiculous. It's like me beating Tiger Woods. You know, come on. It's just, that's, that's like, like, like Happy Gilmore going against Tiger Woods. That's, that's ridiculous. That's like a, a spectacle. Come on. That, I, don't, I don't think even Connor really believes any of that. Come on. That's just, it's just ridiculous. If you're a fighter, you just know how ridiculous that is. Hey, that's uh, that's coming from former heavyweight champ Mike Tyson in 1995. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the guy who played him. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. All right, man. Thank you so much. Right. Appreciate it, Mr. White. Take care. <laughs>